Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries February 28, 2023. The moon spends the day in your partnership sector, and your relationships, feedback, and social life can assume more importance than usual. Conversations may be complicated when they have to do with emotional matters later today and into tomorrow. It's best to make an extra effort to understand others before jumping to the conclusion that their intentions are poor. People may not express themselves clearly with a Mercury-Venus challenging transit in play, and there can be a general disconnect between the mind and the heart. Aim to rise above problems. Keeping your mind peaceful can lead to valuable insights into recent events or issues. Whenever we experience retrogrades, there's a sluggish pace to life and we face hurdles and obstacles upon our paths. That is why it is never encouraged to start new relationships, make promises or plans, or consider the long term during retrograde phases, especially those of Mercury, Venus, or Mars since they are known as the personal planets. Luckily, all of our planets are currently direct in the heavens, so that means you have all of their power and strength on your side. Consider how you'd like to work toward manifesting love in the year to come and move forward swiftly toward those goals now. Are you inspired by your work commitments? The same old, same old does get boring after a while, so it might be time to shake some things up at work when the exalted moon in Taurus conjuncts Uranus in Taurus. You are no stranger to transformation, so this unpredictable conjunction might be just what you need to switch up aspects of your arrangements. Think about what you need to feel more comfortable in your working relationships and obligations. Do not be afraid to throw your ideas out there to see what your colleagues think too. In the lead up to the moon's return to your financial sector tomorrow, this is an important point in any month for having your antennas up without overthinking things. Even more when this will be the moon's last visit before Mars leaves, ending his epic seven months visit. Yet as the planet of passion and the warrior planet of the cosmos moves into his final four weeks he is already firing up your financial passions and fighting spirit, with the moon set to give you a better sense of where to direct this. You may experience an increase in perspective of some kind. It's especially important now to focus on a diet of healthy foods that nourish your mind as well as your body. Really limit the amount of processed food you eat you may want to purge your home of unhealthy food sources that lie in wait for those weak moments. Ask your local organic grocer if there is a farmer's club, you can join an economic way to have organic produce on a regular basis. Is it time for a day off? Knowing you and your high-speed approach to life, this is probably long overdue. Many eights get caught up in the need to be productive. Yet every moment of every day does not have to bring results. On this day, take care that you aren't trying to prove something that doesn't need proving. A sense of worth has to come from within, and not by measuring all you can do. Take some time to rest and regenerate, and consider this important fact. At the same time that Venus is spending her first weekend in your work sector, the moon is completing his first seven days in a fun, playful, romantic and creatively charged part of your chart. A lot of water has passed under the bridge on both fronts and with even more to come, it is clear that both the playful and the busy sides of life's fence are gaining momentum and this will only continue. This makes the weekend the ideal time to find the kind of balance between work and play that you can maintain beyond today. Before leaving your relationship sector the moon will align with Pluto in your communication sector, something it has done every four weeks since the planet of change and revolution returned in 2008. Yet this last visit before Venus, the planet of love's return to your relationship sector is also the last before Pluto leaves, with a need to seize an opportunity to both remain more emotionally engaged and to give your emotional responses and relationships a voice. Our eyes in the sky. This morning, the moon will be transitioning from Taurus to Gemini, which can signal the release of any pent-up aggression or tension. However, it's important to stay vigilant and cautious if you find yourself on the receiving end of someone's temper tantrum. Instead of responding with more aggression, it may be wise to diffuse the situation diplomatically, 
as things could quickly escalate and lead to some serious consequences. As the day progresses, consider taking a break from any frustrating matters that may be causing you stress. You might try unwinding through a relaxing activity like meditation, which can help calm your mind and bring a sense of inner peace. This way, you can regain your composure and tackle any challenges that may arise with a clear head and a steady hand. Remember to take care of yourself and prioritize your well-being above all else. As the day begins, Mercury in Aquarius will be forming a sextile aspect with Juno in Aries, which can stimulate thoughtful and productive conversations regarding our work or relationship commitments. While this influence may not necessarily be considered romantic in nature, it does promote the value of loyalty and commitment in our relationships. This is an excellent opportunity to discuss the contractual criteria of any agreements or commitments we have made. With the flexibility and open-mindedness of this aspect, we can listen to the other party's concerns objectively and come to a fair and equitable agreement. It's also an ideal time to assert ourselves and ask for what we need and deserve, knowing that doing so will lead to a more mutually beneficial and sustainable agreement. This aspect can also pave the way for long-lasting relationships that are built on a solid foundation of trust and mutual respect. Whether it's a romantic partnership or a professional collaboration, the discussions and negotiations that take place now have the potential to create a strong and enduring bond that will withstand the test of time. However, it's important to remember that all agreements have terms and conditions that may need to be renegotiated or updated in the future. By approaching these discussions with transparency, honesty, and a willingness to compromise, we can ensure that our relationships and commitments remain fair and equitable for the long haul. As the Taurus moon squares off with Saturn in Aquarius, we may find ourselves feeling moody and irritable. Disappointments and restrictive circumstances can trigger our stubborn tendencies, leading us to make our problems everyone else's problem as well. However, it's important to recognize that we may have played a role in creating this situation. Perhaps we procrastinated on important tasks or spoke out of turn to the wrong person, leading to isolation and increased stress levels. To navigate this challenging aspect, it's important to take a step back and assess the situation objectively. If possible, try to put your head down and focus on the work that needs to be done. In some cases, the problem may resolve itself over time, but in other cases, an apology or taking responsibility for our actions may be necessary. It's important to remember that while it can be difficult to admit when we're wrong, doing so can help to restore relationships and build trust. Ultimately, the key to navigating this aspect is to stay grounded and focused on what needs to be done. By taking responsibility for our actions and working to rectify any mistakes, we can move past this challenging time and come out stronger on the other side. 